years ahead of the Thomas, and boy, is he met by Tracy Rogers, who had a fine game last week against Colorado. It's time to give his offensive line some confidence and then come back with some play action passes. I thought your line to start the ball game, you win with the run, was so true. This is Jones, tries to get outside, and he does. Piece of the 40. He could go all the way to the 10 yard line, and Myron Jones will score the touchdown. Just a simple uh, dive, he broke it outside. Coach Bobby Turner, running back coach, said this kid, 4-3 speed, he's just waiting for him to break a big one. He's got all the tools, he's been in junior college the past two years, was red-shirted, so he's got a little rust and he's learning as they play. And you see right there why he's such a big play threat. Three receivers to the left. And here comes the blitz from the left side, and Vincent's in trouble, and down he goes. Tracy Rogers. Two of the field because he is a young quarterback and he's not adept at reading from the pocket. He'll face a second and ten. They'll work from the pro set. This is the draw. Kelly Skipper has the first down. He's by the 50-yard line to the 49. This is where Steve Kelly Skipper is so effective. Inside burst, the traps, and uh, the counter plays. And he just bursts out the field. He's like a Joe Morris of the Giants. He's a quick acceleration. Doesn't quite have the speed to get outside. 14-yard gain on that one. He is 5 of 6 this year. Terrence Holly to hold. It is long enough. And this young man is really something else to start 88. He's perfect. And Fresno State has a 10-0 lead. They've had the football twice. They've scored on both occasions. 35. Varsotti has his man complete at the 50-yard line. That was Andre Alexander for another good game, this time 15 yards. Here I doubt it, but I always look for maybe something like that. This guy's been pretty good. <laughs> Who's there? Set a school record in the first game, 20 points. And he booms this one. It looks good and is good. After replacing Phil Vincent. Singleton is met at the line of scrimmage and knocked back. And that was Nick Ruggiroli. He is not a big guy. 6'2", 230. Really gets through in a hurry. Singleton complaining to the referee. Got a flag. It's a trap play and uh, that not, did not get trapped is what happened. So it's fourth down. Gary Aldise is on again. Williams is back at his 10. And they will run it. Will be read nicely, and Fresno State will have the football at the 40 yard line. We saw that on national TV twice today in the Michigan Miami game and in the Clemson Florida State game. Those are the kind of plays, if they work, you look like a genius. If you don't, they what's, what's, what's happened here is they've given up the field position. Rebuilding this year, should, they should come on. And like I said earlier, it's hard for Telford to take, but this is a gamble for the future. And this is third and seven for Barsotti. As the time completes the pass, first down, Dwight Pickens inside the 40-yard line. Barsotti will drop away from the double tight end and drop back to throw. He has Jones. He's down the middle, and there's his first touchdown in his career. Yard touchdown for Craig Jones. Finished off the final 18 yards, and Steve Luke, who's been perfect from extra points, and six of seven or seven of eight from field goals this year, kicks off to Brian Love. And he is ridden down. The best kickoff return man in the Big West is down at the 13 yard line. And fighting for that football is Robert Nobles. In the first half this year, they really played well against Colorado last week, particularly defensively. Vincent looking to go deep and then is sacked at the 11-yard line. Is that Chuck McCutcheon? Yes, it was. It is. With Ron Cox, who came into the game. Well, neither one of them were expected to play, McCutcheon or Cox. And that's what happens when you keep a guy out for a while. He comes in. They were trying to get the ball downfield, as I just mentioned. He cocked ready to throw, but he saw the arm up and maybe just put it down and ate it. Get him backed off on the short passes. 117 left first half rushes on and it is blocked.
and it will go out of bounds at the 22-yard line. It's Fresno State football. James Williams, number 31, came in on the block. ...to Daryl Rosette. Big hole left side. Ten. He's inside to the eight-yard line. Great blocking by the left side of the line and Phil Lujan and Paul Viol. 14-yard gain. Varsody to Jones. Touchdown. Ooh. Anthony Williams, Stephen Shelley are the return men for Fresno State. Now Gerald Robinson is back there. And will be taken by Shelley. He's by the 30-yard line. Has a sideline. He's to the 45-yard line and knocked down. Helped by Dot Lee at the 48-yard line. There goes the flag, Steve. And 11. Blitz was on. Renault is captured at the goal line. Boy, he did a great job of stick, preventing the safety there. McCutcheon. He has his third sack third. of the game. Boy, he's played well. That's who's going to win, whoever can dominate the line of scrimmage down this close. Just tough to keep up with the Joneses. Let's see if Myron gets the call, the carry, and the touchdown. He has three in the game. Oh, now back to Vincent. Phil dropping back, in trouble, pass is intercepted, Blair Holloway down the sideline, and will be cut down at the 18-yard line, Benny Thomas is the man to run him down, and on Phil Vincent's first throw after replacing Mike Renault, he threw it right to the outside linebacker. Over 150 yards rushing in this game, on the pitch, Rosette cuts inside, touchdown! Nice move. Willie Howard, and he has his first sack of the game. Third and five. Telford dropped the football, now picks it up. He's in trouble. Has a chance, throws the football, completes it to Anthony Williams for the first down, and he's past midfield, and a flag goes down. But you're supposed to get right. <laughs> Here's Telford. <laughs> completes the pass, first down. Inside the 45-yard line, Alan Gardenhire, his first catch of the year. He, like Barsotti, started slowly and has come on strong. Telford looking deep. He has a man open, and the pass is completed. To the 30-yard line, to the 29. Now we're seeing the Dave Telford that we saw last year when he threw for 2,589 yards and 12 touchdowns. You can tell, Steve, he's... ...four-man rush. Renault has the time. And it's intercepted. Robert Nobles is out of bounds near the 25-yard line. So Renault needs seven. His team has been shut out. They're down 41 nothing. And he goes the sideline route. And it's picked off by Fresno State at the 47-yard line. David Shelton, That's his like first that. interception of the year. Mike Knoll has two timeouts left, Steve. And I think he just wants to get this over with and get out of town. Clock winding down inside 13 seconds. This is Bushell. Tackle is made at the 31 yard line and the clock ticks away. And Fresno State has their second victory of this 1988 season. 41 0 the final score. The Bulldogs beat the Aggies. For Mike Schumann, this is Steve Fiziak. Ralph Wood will be talking with Jim Sweeney, that man, victorious coach, winning his 78th game at Fresno State.